have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out RV Daydream and it is a beautiful day <laughs> and a noisy day <laughs> in Ohio. Uh, it's beautiful. I can't even believe it. It's 60 degrees. It's going to get even warmer for the next couple days. And they said that we will be lucky to count the clouds in the sky on one hand for the next four days. And it's just beautiful out. Uh, dandelions are starting to come out. But more than that, repairs are starting to happen. I just got underneath the truck. I was actually using my other camera or starting to use my other camera, so I apologize. I'm using this action cam. The audio is not going to be quite as good. The uh, other camera failed, so I had to hurry up and run in and call Sony and send it off to uh, get it repaired. And uh, it'll be back in about 10 days. But I had to drive the vehicle up to uh, turn that camera in, so I had to stop my repair. As I mentioned before, we're going to be doing a, a fuel tank thing. Uh, I've got a couple of fuel pumps. Uh, the fuel pump in the front has got a problem. I'm going to replace that first to see if that solves the problem that it's having. And then I will uh, start on this modification to put this bigger rear tank in. If you have a problem on your vehicle, if you've identified a problem, and you're wanting to attack it yourself, repair one thing at a time because it could be that what you repair if you don't test it might be an issue or become an issue and cause another problem or symptom so you want to be able to do one thing at a time just don't do all the work at once because there could be a problem that pops up that wasn't there originally and you won't know what caused it necessarily look how beautiful a day and they're right there's no clouds in the sky dandelions in the yard I need to mow <laughs> and my brother's pop-up camper apparently his job site has changed so this pop-up camper is going to be parked over here where that pallet's sitting right now so I can get this camper in and out and I've got a lot of repairs I'm going to be doing on the camper uh, before we go camping next week or the week after next one of those weeks I'm not sure what the dates are now but there's a lot of things that I'm going to do. So let me go ahead and jump into this truck repair, and I will come back all dirty, and hopefully when most of it's done. Ooh, a little dirty. It didn't take very long, at least on the front one. Um, I'm not finished with it, but I thought I'd show you what it looks like out of the vehicle. That's it. These are pretty easy to take out. I like the front ones compared to the rear ones, so I don't mind doing this. I am concerned a little bit about the rust. I didn't think that there was going to be quite this much rust on top. So I have to decide now if I want to buy a new tank and throw it on there with my new fuel pump and be done with it. Or, again, they're not hard to change. Maybe I'll just hang on to this one for a while because it's doing the job and just look at that rust and make sure that it's not going through or getting close to going through anywhere. One of those decisions. <laughs> So let's get back to work here and I will uh, update you a little bit further down the road. Alright guys, so I'm going to call it a day and we're going to pick this up tomorrow for a couple of reasons. The fuel pump that was sent to me was the incorrect one. Uh, I ordered the right one and the packing slip said the right one. Whoever picked the part just put the wrong one uh, on my order and shipped it out with uh, another fuel pump. So let me show you where I'm at right now. Here's the front tank and what I did there was treat that rust which wasn't bad at all I'm so glad about that um, I took a little welding hammer to it and picked at it and there was no soft spots at all it was just surface rust so I went ahead and treated the surface rust let that dry and then went ahead and hit it with uh, all this undercoating and then the rear tank I wiped all of the machining oil off of it that they use to put it through a press and then, of course, same thing, undercoated it. And I'm going to let this dry. That's going to help out with rust. I mean, that's all it is in Ohio is just about rust. So tomorrow we'll pick this up on the same video. I might do a quick greeting in the morning. So let's see what I do. All right, guys, day two of the extravaganza. I uh, wanted to give a little greeting for the new day. So uh, I've got a part coming from Amazon. It's being delivered next day, Saturday, delivery. 
which is the correct fuel pump that I need. And then I'm going to attempt to get these tanks in, both of them, done today. We'll see how that works out. I'm also going to move this little camper. I might do that before I even start. I'll have to go see how the grass looks over there. But let's go uh, check this day out. This is the best thing about Ohio. And it's the days that it is nice. It is really pleasant. Not too hot, not too cold. We're at about 70 right now. And it's, uh, it's just pleasant. Well, this is definitely one of the things that I miss about having a pop-up. And that is how easy it is to manipulate. I'm gonna park this thing out of my way so whenever we do get the camper and snatch it out of here, I've got room to do so. So there you go, a uh, little bit of eventful. I thought I was going to get it up further than I did. I forgot how long everything was. What I'll do is when the camper gets moved out of the way, I should say our travel trailer, it will uh, allow that one to be pulled up a little bit further with my truck or the tractor. It doesn't make a difference at that point. However, whenever I was doing that, FedEx came and they delivered my fuel pump. So I can go back to working on the front tank. That'll be nice. I think I can get that done today. I want to show you something though what we got for the back of the camper. Tell me what you think. Oh yeah, new tags. <laughs> because that's what's happening to it. All right, let's get to work. See how shitty I can film. It's a beautiful day today. It's um, 80 degrees. Well, it dropped. It's probably 77 now, but it's done. I got the front tank on. I put gas in it, checked it out, tried it out. Works good. And I put the rear tank on. And let me show you that. There you go. It's got to nix up a couple spots there. Not too bad. Had to take the hitch off, which is not difficult to do whenever you consider I just installed it last year. As I was saying, I got the tank up and uh, all snugged up, went ahead and filled it up, and uh, it was kind of expensive. It was uh, 54 and uh, 18, so like $70, $76, I can't remember now, because what happened was we went to the gas station to fill it up, and since I had to modify the float, the factory float, to work with this tank. I didn't know exactly where it was going to rise or fall and how accurate it was going to be. So as we filled, I was having Heidi write down uh, every time the needle moved at what gallon I was at at that point. So it's off by, by a considerable amount on the low side, but I guess it, it'll be okay. The gas station we were at the first time, this is the reason I'm not exactly sure how much we put in there, 
uh, something was wrong with the pumps and they were only pumping it like quarter speed so it was taking me forever plus the fact that I was stopping every so many gallons and checking in to see if the needle moved it was just a hassle so we left that gas station after I put nine and a half gallons in and I went up to the next gas station down the street and at that point I uh, filled it up and we marked it down so um, I know how much each increment is and that's all that really counts and the pumps work the tanks work the truck is running a little better that's it so that's all for now and I hope to see you guys out there bye